Good afternoon. Uh, it is a Wednesday and it's two o'clock already. And uh, for those that already know what this time is, it's time for the Lunch and Learn with Prosper. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice, but I think we'll get it back um, as we go in. All right. So if this is your first time tuning in with us, guys, my name is Prosper Taruinga and I'm the founder and CEO um, of a uh, digital company called uh, Live Long Digital, where I help coaches and consultants and, and other service professionals to actually package brand and also market their services so that they have a business that is profitable and enjoyable. Now, um, you know, if you've been watching this Lunch and Learns, you would know that every single day we are talking about stuff that would help you grow your business. We're talking about stuff that would actually help you, um, you know, live a life that's, you know, um, worth living and the like. Now, I've been asked by a lot of people uh, lately, since I'm connecting to a lot of, um, of you guys, and um, one question that keeps coming up is, um, Prosper, you hardly ever mentioned anything about yourself. And um, Felix, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. And I thought today we'd make an attempt, uh, you know, to see, you know, what it is um, that would actually make you, um, you know, want to spend time listening to what I've got to say. And you probably have the big question, um, which is, is this guy really worth my time? Do you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people out there on the internet. There's a lot of stuff that's being sold, stuff to listen to, stuff to watch, and etc. Content is like, you know, a dime a dozen these days. And why would anyone want to pay attention to me? Okay. So that could be a question that you have right now. But I want to tell you something for a lot of people that are watching right now live or that are going to watch this in post production or that, that are going to watch this as a blog or people that are going to watch the playback on YouTube because that's how I distribute these videos. My definite answer is no. I may not be worth your time, okay? And I'm going to explain to you why. And you might be wondering, why is this guy telling me I'm not worth his time? Because I definitely know who I want to work with. I definitely know who I want to serve. And maybe you are not the person I want to serve, okay? So it's, um, it's fair enough to actually let you know um, if I'm worth your time and if it's worth you um, you know, paying attention to any of the stuff that I'm saying. All right. Now, the reason why I know I'm not worth your time is because I'll tell you something for nothing. I am not going to help you get rich quick. All right. So a lot of people on the internet are out there trying to look for a shiny object. A lot of people out there are just trying to look for the quick fix. And a lot of people out there are looking for that one strategy that's going to get them from where they are right now to where they want to be. And I'm telling you right off the bat that I am not the guy for that. So if that's what you've been waiting for and that's what you're hoping to get from me and my videos and my content, I'm sorry, I'm not your guy. You see, for some weird reason, people have started equating um, the sale of products online um, or on the internet as the get rich quick scheme. You know what I mean? Uh, people forget that it does take a lot of time, money and effort to actually show up, to actually be, do and have a business that's worth even telling people about. All right. So there's things that you don't understand, um, you know, why people actually expect an overnight success when they go online. Peter, thank you so much, man. I liked your statement earlier on about being poor. Um, what was that again? Passing over opportunity repeatedly. Thank you so much. I, I think I'm going to steal that off of you and I'm going to use it with your permission as well. So like I was saying, I might not be your guy if you're expecting to get rich quick um, real soon. I'm going to ask you a question. How long does it take for somebody to become a doctor? And how long would it take for somebody to become a pilot? And how long would it take for somebody to become a lawyer? You do realize that it does take a lot of time. Why do people automatically think being online or on the internet, you can have success tomorrow or you want guaranteed results today or you want guaranteed results, um, you know, instantly. All right. So we have been so desensitized. 
Right, exactly. It takes eight to ten years. We've been so desensitized and we've been fed the whole jargon and, you know, lies that, you know, you just go online, put up a landing page, throw traffic at it, etc., etc., and then people are going to buy from you and then you make money. It doesn't work like that. But you know what? I get it. I get where you're going. I get what's happening right now. The whole internet thing has just come to us and nobody really knows what's happening. We're all pioneers and we're all trying to go. Some are learning faster than the others and some are just damn lazy and they just want it, you know, they just want other people's results without even putting in the work. Okay? So I can imagine the era, the era that we're in right now, which is the social prosperity era, which I've coined that term, is an era where everybody expects that social media or just being online is what is going to save them from whatever they're going through right now to their financial freedom. I get it. That's what we're being sold. We saw Mark Zuckerberg not going to college or not finishing college and we thought that was it. We get it. I get it. You know, and Felix says, I don't waste my time because you always provide information of value, which enriched my mind. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Felix. And if you want to, you can share this video today. Like I'm saying, guys, I get it. I was also attracted to the Internet. I think around right about the year 2000, 2001 day. Well, when I could get Internet, you know, I'll, I'll be talking more on that a little bit later. You know, I thought it was an easy way to actually get money and, you know, get thousands by the following day and all of it will be all on autopilot. You know what I mean? That was way back then when, um, you know, CP, um, I mean, Google was just putting in all the stuff about, you know, clickety clack stuff. You would just put in a few dollars here and there and then automatically on the other side, you get money. You know why? Because everybody that was starting off was also learning and it was it was like not a lot of people knew the tricks that were happening at that time so it looked easy all right i thought it would be easy as well but it's not well it wasn't easy money when i then looked at it it wasn't at all you know what i mean because you have Right now, to actually have consistent revenue coming in every single day and often on autopilot, it does take a lot of work, it takes a lot of frustration, it takes a lot of perseverance to actually get there. And that's the reason why if you are here right now watching this and all you want is get rich quick money, please shut this off and go somewhere else. I'm not the guy to help you, all right? So it also takes a lot of work. They don't tell you to maintain that autopilot stuff to keep it running. You know why? Because you got to pay the autoresponder. You got to pay to design the landing pages. Everything demands you in there. So there's nothing called autopilot. The only thing that you're not doing is clicking send to that email, but you're working consistently behind the scenes. All right, Gabriel, you say it's your first time tuning in. Thank you so much, man. I hope uh, you get to get a bit of value in what I'm trying to say. So if you're not prepared to commit, you know, to roughly at least 10 times more effort than, than you're expecting right now, sorry, I am not your guy, okay? So it's just one of those things. Another thing, guys, is if you don't want to advertise or if you don't want to actually put in a bit of work, you're not going to enjoy any of the stuff that I'm uh, uh, dishing out every single day there. You know what I mean? I don't mean um, that you have to buy out a billboard. I don't mean you have to um, continuously go out and, and spam people in and, and, and advertising. And I'm not saying that I also sell advertising. But here's why I'm telling you this. You know, If you actually start going down the internet market, marketing sort of rabbit hole and you are going to see a lot of ads, you're going to see a lot of articles telling you about free traffic. Let me tell you something, guys. Free traffic is the most expensive traffic you'll ever have. You know why? Because those people really need to know, like, and trust you before they even start purchasing from you, okay? So they don't know you. You're going to have to convince them. You're going to have to pump content at them. So free traffic is just going to be so much of a pain that it's going to annoy you. And eventually you give up and you give what I do for a job a bad name. All right. So if you're one of those persons that is just out for free peddling or free traffic or those funny gizmos that they're giving out and saying you can get people at a shopping center or whatever, I'm not your guy. 
All right. You see, if, if you're going to try and get rich by having other people sort of maybe promote your product and all sorts of this hype on the latest loopholes or whatever, gaming the system, I am not your dude. OK, there is not such a thing as free traffic. Of course, there is. I mean, there is free traffic, but I'm just saying I don't want to work with people that believe in free traffic. Okay, and that free traffic is not going to help you because those people don't even know what you're selling. They don't even know what you're going to offer them. All right. So, you know, you might ask yourself, does some of this stuff even work? Probably it does. You know, like what you're saying there, Felix, it probably does in the short term. But if you're going to rely on that, you know, you probably don't even have a business. You know what I mean? You don't have an income stream that is actually sustainable by, I mean, you have an in income stream that's going to be sustainable by unsustainable gimmicks. And when they yank something or when they pull the, the carpet underneath your feet, you've got nothing. I don't want to work with people that are building zero, nothing. I'll tell you a little bit later on about where I want to put my legacy and how I'm trying to build this and why I need people like you to work with me so that we go in and we champion the whole entrepreneurial spirit. Okay. So all this stuff that everybody is doing, we can see it as a total waste of time. And if you just want to waste time, you know, go watch a movie. It's much more fun that way. It's better. You get a lot more return of your energy while you're watching a movie than trying to trick people into some service that you actually don't even believe in. So if you've got something like that, pss, I don't want to work with you and you're not going to enjoy my stuff because it's just going to be too repulsive in your face. Okay. Now, if you're also looking for maybe the easy way or just the simplest things or how to do something real quick, real fast shortcuts, I don't even want to help you either. You know what? It's really important to understand what I'm telling you here, guys. I can only... I, you see, I can, I can do all of this stuff. I can work with you to get rich quick. I can work with you to do whatever. I can help you, but I just won't. All right? I'm capable of it, but I actually refuse to do any of that stuff. I actually refuse to work with people that just want it easy. Ring, ring. How's it going, my man? Why is that? Why would, why would I be saying that? Why would I be turning away potential customers? Because everybody thinks they're a potential customer until they're told you can't get anything. All right? And I'm telling you, I don't want to work with you. If you're lazy, I'm telling you, I don't want to work with you. If you're only looking for shiny objects, and I don't want to work with you, period, if you're just not going to put in the work. All right? Um, you paid for that, so call it free traffic with your time instead of cash. <laughs> so it ends up not free. That's pretty good, fellas. All right. Because when you hear somebody say that this is going to be the easiest way, what I'm hearing is, or if somebody tells you that, you know, I, I want to, you know, do this the easiest way possible. What I'm actually just hearing from that person is they're not fully invested for the long term success of their own business. So why should I? Do you know what I mean? If somebody's looking for a quick fix or if somebody's looking for something that is just there for them to, you know, um, help themselves instantly there. They're not looking for the long term. They're not looking for the long game of that. And that person is destined to be poor. Do you know what I mean? Why would I invest my time, money and effort and leave my daughter just to help somebody who's not willing to help themselves? So that's the reason why I'm saying I'm not your guy if you're not willing to put in the work. All right, so therefore, I'm not going to be fully invested in, 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 in your business if you're actually just going in there to treat customers, to pay you instantly, and then, you know, just get away with shit. I'm not going to be your guy for that. All right, so all that this translates to, guys, is I, I want to work with people that are heading somewhere. I want to work with people that really care about their customers. I want to work with people that are seeing their business further than five years, seven years, eight years, nine years, ten years. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to work with people that just have that one click wonder mentality of, okay, this just came up. Oh, this is VR. Let's jump into VR. Oh, this is um, a book. Let's run into that book. Let's see what that book is saying. And I don't mind losing customers while actually attracting the right kind of person with the right kind of pain that I can solve their particular problem. All right. So, you know, 
at the end of the day, I know, looking, if you're selling things on the internet, it's hard work. I know it. But when, when it's all up and running, you know, all you can just imagine is, am I going to be helping other people or is this passive revenue actually helping myself or is it helping, you know, the rest of mankind? It does take a lot of hard work to create something and it takes a lot of even harder work to maintain it. So why would I put my invested interest and in somebody who is not interested in what they're particularly doing? So that's why I'm saying, if you're asking yourself, is this guy worth my time? I'm questioning you. If you're not going to be putting in the work, then I'm not your guy. All right. So, you know, if you're still here, that means something. All right. Because if you're still here, what this tells me is you're the kind of person that is going to be, you know, working towards their business, you know, putting food in their family. And also if you do employ some other people, those people are also going to benefit from whatever it is that you're creating. And you are actually helping and enabling other people to have a life that's worth living and a life that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. So this is what you can expect from me if you are actually, um, you know, if you are actually going to um, look at what I'm doing and say, is this guy worth my time? First of all, every single day we come in here at two o'clock. Um, if I'm not busy with clients that are, you know, um, in my periphery, um, we we are talking about how to build your business, how to, you know, come up with strategies that are actionable and tactics that you can actually use in your marketing. And most of them, they're free. Okay. And they're usually, um, you know, actionable in such a way that you can take bits and pieces off of them and you can actually plug them into your business and use them immediately. You can also expect from me a four step system that I created, which will help you capture the right kind of clients, which will help you create the right kind of content to dish out to these people, convert those people into paying customers and connect with them in such a way that it's fluid and you're not tricking people into wanting things that they don't want at all. All right. So it's, 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 it's that simple. Some people think that, you know, just because they think their clients, people are going to be worshiping them. That's not it. And you should also be very specific as to who you can serve, how you can serve them and who really wants your product. The whole customer is king used to work when your granddad had a shop down the road. You know why? Because the only people that were coming to that shop are the people that are within walking radius. This day and age, we've got the whole world to deal with. So if you're not going to be coachable, if you're not going to be a good client, why would I spend my time? Why would I invest in you? Period. All right. So that's also how you should start really considering if you really want to grow your business, figure out where exactly can you help. And if you think you've got a lot of value to offer to people, don't accept mediocrity just because you think it's going to pay for your bills. Why would you do that? You know, and then eventually if you do have products and services that you can sell like I do, you know, I've got a one on one coaching class. Um, I've got a mentorship program that varies from 4,500 to about 15,000, depending on what stage you are in your business. I'll be talking about that a little bit later on. OK, so, yeah. And I'm always selling you guys stuff. You know why? That's how I'm going to send my kid to college. That's how I'm going to survive. And that's how I'm going to, you know, you know, sponsor my lifestyle. You can tell I love looking good. This is expensive stuff because all of this stuff are bespoke and tailor made. All right. So at the end of the day, you, you're not going to believe that I just flat out told you that I'm going to sell you stuff. Of course I am. Why else wouldn't I tell you? Why would I be wanting to trick you and, and, and luring you into thinking I'm just sitting here and, and not going to sell you something? I definitely am going to sell you stuff. Right about now, we've got a 30-day challenge that's about to start. If you want to jump in, type in Blueprint, where you get this, which is the four-step system um, that I just mentioned. And you're also going to be getting a PDF that explains how the system works. And you're going to get 30 emails for the next 30 days so that you are implementing the blueprint so that it actually works for you, you know? And then at the end of the day, you know, oh uh, yeah, Ray Ring says, great topic, well said with local shops, times are changing fast. Exactly. 
So don't go out there and become so difficult. You know why? Because coaches and consultants and people with businesses, you know what? They don't need your negativity. They don't need your 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 bragging because you're just going out there as a high sounding nothing. All right. Anyway, um, I was going to say, why am I telling you that I'm going to sell you stuff? Because we're here and you know you need to learn some stuff. And if you think what I've got, I've been posting a whole lot of photos of my family earlier on. The reason is I want people to get to understand where it is, where their money is going and how I'm spending it. I'm not, you know, funding some ISIS or some suicide bomber out there. I'm doing it for my daughter. I'm doing it for my wife and for my lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that? Unless you're just a negative person, unless you're just a sad person that doesn't even know what they want. All right. But I know that in the midst of all of that, I'm always offering real valuable strategies and tactics that you can actually implement and use immediately. And all of that, guys, is absolutely free. All right. So the idea of this whole thing is you will see all of that stuff and you'll be like, man, this stuff actually helped me. Uh, what will the paid stuff be like? And that's when we start talking and we strategize and we actually help you start a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. It's pretty simple, right? So we, I mean, there's people that already have a name for it. It's just demonstrate you can help people by actually helping them. And it works like a charm. You know, I'm sitting here. This is my office. I don't know if you've seen. I put a picture a little bit earlier on and all you can see is just the back of my head. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, all you really got to do is figure out who you want to be, where you want to go. Don't let somebody be, you know, you know, the be it and end all of, 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 of your destination. Because when you were born, none of us were there. So why would you be expecting somebody to deliver you from where you are and, 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 and to where you want to go? You really might be asking yourself, seriously, who is this guy? Who does he think he is? I'll tell you something. Uh, we've got eight minutes. So last year, I celebrated my first six-figure income, which was the first time, really. Um, and I took my family on an epic road trip around Australia. A distance that we covered was 13,131 kilometers to be exact, you know? And we just kept driving with no plans and nothing to worry about. You might be wondering, how did we do it? Because it's a long drive. We went through the outback. We went all of continental Australia. It's not a country, by the way. It's a continent. How did we do it? It's because I had a lot of time on my hands to spend with my family and to actually really enjoy life. That's the reason why I wake up every single day, look at my little girl, and then it's just, you know, my whole world in front of me there. But it wasn't always like that, you know? And, and you, you want to know what else? My business kept running in the 21 days that we were going away. And it didn't stop. You know what? Because I had outsourced most of the work and I had actually got relationships with my clients in such a way that they were actually rooting for my trip. So if you've got clients that are going to be nagging you, if you've got clients that are not going to be really appreciating what you're offering, then what's the whole point in the whole hustle? I mean, I understand you got to hustle every single day, yada, yada, but if you're not going to really want to put in the work, nobody's going to be want to, want to be a part of what you're doing. All right. So that was the beauty of, of the business that I built, guys. You know, the digital marketing business. You know, I had a lot of free time and I have... You know, I could virtually do anything that I wanted to do with my beautiful wife and daughter. I think you've seen pictures. I've been sending them um, a little bit earlier on there. You see, we also even, you know, celebrated my, 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 my daughter's birthday in the process. She was born on the 4th, no, no, 6th of January. So that was also part of, you know, her celebratory uh, moves. I've got the, I've got the hat. Yeah, and you're going to see it all the time. I'll show you. This is, I'm going to give it to her on her 18th birthday, all right? So every place that we went to on the trip and all the stuff, I put it all in there like that. So it's like all the things that I did and normally I just wait on her birthday or whatever, but I'm going to just keep doing it. This is what I do this for, all right? So why would I stop looking after my family and doing stuff that I really want following you that don't want to go anywhere? 
you know. So on the, on that on that whole trip um, around Australia, you know, my wife was actually born here in Australia. I only just arrived in Australia uh, six years ago, but my wife had not seen the country. So you know, you know, um, my wife had not seen the country. So we just jumped on that four by four, and we decided, let me show her your country. Let me let me show you your world. You know, so I had all the money and the freedom and I was just spending time with those that I actually care about and I was creating beautiful memories. You've seen the photos, but I don't want to lie to you guys. It wasn't always like this. And that's the reason why I'm saying, is this guy worth my time? Do you know what I mean? Three years ago, I had no guaranteed income. I was struggling to provide a decent living for my family. It was my wife then because my, my daughter is only two now. You know, I was working as a kitchen hand in a small restaurant and we were actually expecting a baby then. And my, my relationship with my wife was totally at risk, guys. You know, because when you don't have money, your, your wife starts thinking, you know, is, is there a reason for me to stick with this guy? First of all, I was coming in from Africa, no job, nothing. All I had was, you know, part-time work at a kitchen hand and it was just, it, things were rough then. Life was not always fun. My wife, my, my girlfriend then was about to leave me if I didn't do anything to change the situation. You know, I, I first arrived in Australia in 2011. It's, it's, it's so surreal now that when I came here, I had nothing. But now, I'm, you know, I've built a six-figure business and I've got a team that works behind me. When I came from Zimbabwe, guys, I don't want to lie to you guys. I had nothing but just a backpack full of hopes and dreams. You know, I was so alone, I had no friends, and nobody knew me, guys. No one knew me, because I just arrived in the country. And you know how painful it is when you're living in the city that's the size of a box and nobody knows your name? You know, I, I, I just really wanted to belong, you know. I really wanted to get accepted, because everybody else, where I was going, they were so cliquey and clingy, and they knew each other from school, or they knew each other from, you know, somewhere else. So I figured I really had to step up or, or I really had to have something like some unique talent or some sort of expertise that was probably going to make me, you know, you know, be accepted. Somehow I didn't know what I had to do. And I, I had no clue where to start. And that's, that's maybe part of the reason why I gravitated towards this whole internet marketing stuff. You know, even, even at the jobs that I was working at, guys, you know, one of them being a kitchen hand, like, you know, the lowest job you could ever think of, everybody was just all so clicky, you know why? Because they'd met each other before and they know each other and, 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 you know, they were related in different social circles outside of work, which I wasn't even involved. You know, they, they let me go to lunch and I spend weekends all by myself, guys. You know, it wasn't fun. <laughs> it really wasn't. You know, as human, we always long for company and a sense of community. And, and what I just really wanted was to have friends and just to enjoy time like what everybody else had. You know, I tried to join some, you know, online social groups. And by the end of the meetings, you know, I was just left sitting by myself. I don't know, maybe it was my color or the back then I was smoking. Maybe I stunk. I don't know. But you don't want to be left alone. It's, it's the saddest thing anyone can ever go through, guys. Living in the city of a si that's the size of a box and nobody knowing your name and you, you're really trying to... <sighs> guys, I mean, I, I know I'm good with people, you know what I mean? I, I, just, I, I just don't know what was happening then. When I, what I didn't realize after that is the market either pays you financially with attention depending on the value that you offer i wasn't offering any value i felt it i felt how people were not even worried about what i was doing because i was not giving anything i was not giving them a story i was not giving them anything to hold on to to know me or anything like that so what did i do i just started looking online just to see what what i could you know where I could belong and, you know, if I could maybe meet some people or if I needed some skill that I could learn over time or if I could make money online, you know, and, and to no effort, but none of which worked. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys that, you know what I mean? If, if, if you're not giving value, 
out there. Nobody, nobody is going to notice. And it's painful and I get it. I get it. It's not, it's not easy. But something happened in my entire life. Something that swished the way I was thinking. You know, one day I was sharing a house um, uh, with uh, four other guys, you know, just so, because money was tight. So I needed to, you know, um, you know, save money on rent. One of my roommates suggested to me that at their work, you know, they were looking for, for models. And, you know, we were just joking the other day that ah, I've got long hair. Maybe I could look good in a catalog or something. You know, but first of all, I didn't even know anything about modeling. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to end up doing things that would embarrass me or alienate me from people even further. Okay, so basically, I was trying to get people to like me, not people to hate me. You know why? Because there's this whole stigma about models and how they're all pretentious and skinny and all that stuff that we don't like about them. I did not want to alienate myself a lot more further. But I knew I had to offer some sort of value into the market, so I had to learn that stuff. You know, after all, the only thing that I could actually do without any skill set, you know, why? I'll, oh, who cannot walk on a ramp or just smile at a photo or something like that? I had to try something in order to give value back in order to now have people liking me or at least seeing me. It was painful not having friends or people around you, you know, even those people that kind of knew me when we went into social settings pretended not to know me. So what did I do? I started watching YouTube videos on how to pause and how to actually walk and, 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 and you know, in, in the way models do. Do you know what I mean? And then naturally when I started searching, you know, adverts started coming in, you know, sending me the right messages at that particular time. You know, I just kept on seeing this ad about a modeling course. And, you know, just like most people, I ignored it for almost a week. So right now you might be ignoring an ad that you're seeing that is probably going to change the rest of your life. But eventually I took the plunge and then I just bought the modeling course that was there. Boy, did my life change after that. You know, it was actually easier than I thought. It only took me eight weeks. And, you know, actually, I then got signed as a model. And by week three, <laughs> by week three, my life did a whole 360. Uh, is it a 180 or 360? You know, I was invited to this VIP launch party. The first time ever from somebody who was so lonely, somebody who was not invited to places, I was now getting invited to VIP launch parties. Skip back all the time, whatever happened. Now I even know how to pose for my own photos in my own business. You know what I mean? I don't need to, to put it in um, stock footage. I have photos of my own that I put in. You know? I now know how to dress, you know, I was taught by, by the guys at the academy. And my name just started getting out there, you know, and then after graduation, I was quickly signed up by a modeling company and, you know, I went on to become one of the most recognized, recognized faces on the Melbourne modeling scene. You can look that stuff up. Alright, so it, it, it happened. We, we are so filled up with a lot of, you know, opportunities in life, just Really look at where you want to go, how you want to do it. Because where you are is is, 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 is is temporary. I know we've just gone past the 30 minute mark. If you're still on, God bless you. But before, before I knew it, guys, you know, I started brushing shoulders with, you know, the A-list type people. And, you know, I really did not even have anything to do with most of those invites. And you know what the best thing is? I'm now just using all of those skills, like I said, in my business right now. You know, and I'm taking it to a to greater heights. All those connections, all all that stuff that I learned when I was there, I'm just really using it in the digital marketing space. And today, I was actually having a meeting with one of these guys. He sells five million dollar homes. Ask me when I was back then in 2011, would I even just pick up the phone and call somebody and say, "Hey, listen, let's go have coffee"? It wasn't possible. Now I'm getting invited to celebrity parties, launch events, and you know, some of them have become my clients. It's, it, you, you only can, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying, if you're asking yourself, is this guy worth my time? I've been, I've been where you at. 
but I changed and I, I moved things around. And Faiza, Faiza is, 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 is one of my oldest friends. She just commented there and says, God bless you, prosper. And you know my story from when we started. You're the person that came and um, held Kalia for the first time in the hospital because I didn't have family. And you are part of my family and you know that. And thank you so much for taking all the advice that um, you've taken throughout and, you know, sharing our, our, our lives together. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. But I guess the only downside is now that I have a family, you know, I now have to continuously show up to all these events. And to be honest with you, it's really time consuming. You know, and, and the other night there was three events that were happening in town and I had to be in three different parts. I can't do that. All I want to do right now is just stay at home and play with my daughter and just chill with my wife. You know, so even when it came to the digital marketing side of things, I... Yeah, yeah, Faisa, you did the modeling school like I, I advised and, and I really, really appreciate you for that. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. I saw another picture that you did earlier on, which was fantastic. Um, I, I, I can't remember what it was, but there was four of you guys. I'll talk to you later about this. So all of this wasn't going to be possible as well, because, you know, as, I, as, as my whole circle got bigger, my responsibilities also got bigger and the people that I got to meet, you know, I needed to learn a little bit more every single day. I'm reading something, I've got mentors, I'm doing stuff to improve my, my whole being, right? So I've now created the four-step system that you too can follow, all right? Last year, I did my first six-figure, you know why? Because it was, it's just simple. Get the right kind of people, deliver the right kind of content to them, convert them, and then continue looking after them. Don't be a one-click wonder, guys. It's not going to be worth it. Look for the long-term game. All right. So I really want to see if I can work with you or if, if you really want to change and see how you can make this the rest of your life. All right. I want to teach you this four-step system. If you've been watching this far, I really want to teach you this four-step uh, system. And I'm actually going to teach you for free. So type in Blueprint right now, and then I will go down and, and, and start working with you. This is just an exclusive offer for people that have watched this far. All right? So at, at the end of the day, you, what you're going to learn is basically how to identify the market with people who are almost likely to buy from you. How to actually alienate people that won't pay you any money and figure out what markets are actually working at the time. You're going to learn a really big, simple strategy to engaging your customers on a very deep and psychological level. You know, I'll teach you how to do pattern breaks. I'll teach you how to do all this crazy dead eye stuff that actually helps you create and relate to your customers. All right. And then, you know, you're going to have the psychology of converting website visitors into paying customers. Right. So. First of all, you could start off with the 30 day challenge and you're going to get four symbols, four videos. Uh, first of all, is to capture the right kind of client, to get the right kind of content and convert them and connect. All right. So if you're still watching this, obviously, that's that's it. You're probably wondering, is this guy worth my time? You decide. Thank you so much for tuning in. In the meantime, I'll watch. I'll check you guys tomorrow. And those that have typed in Blueprint, I'll be getting in touch with you guys. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day.